from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likens Show. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, and I won't have it. Is that clear? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likens. It's Likens 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just import, as importantly, we teach women how men think. At 1-800-5-800-TOM, it's 1-800-5-800-866. I'm your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is Anthony on Ligus 101. Hello. Hi. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. Well, uh, I'd just like to let you know that uh, I've been listening to you since I was very little, and uh, you know what? I should have been listening more than actually uh, just laughing at all the funny things you have to say, man, because... My girlfriend just cheated on me. Uh, she goes to college. I just found out from her best How friend. long have you been a student here? In uh, California? Or at, no, no at, uh, at, in the Ligus 101 classroom. How long have you been a student? Shoot, since I was 10 years old or something like that. So what, the, what have I told you about having a girlfriend in college? I know, it's, it's a mistake. Uh, it's no, a not just mistake. a mistake. What did I tell you your girlfriend's going to do when she goes away to college? gonna mess around that's what she's gonna do and and you thought you knew more than the professor didn't you yes and, and i apologize tom because you're the expert and and i was the idiot you got exactly what you deserved that's right i did but uh she cheated on me i just found out and she uh her best friend actually told me i called to ask her about it it was true and uh even the guy called me that she cheated on me with and had the audacity to uh basically tell me everything that they did so i just wanted to let all your listeners know that don't make any commitments to any stupid woman who, who wants to just uh why did you well, by like, the way you heard me teach you about that yeah, why did you go against my teaching i you know i was young tom and i'm i was stupid i am stupid i i just i was uh i had my hopes up and that was you had was, your hopes up that i didn't know what i was talking about of course not. I had my hopes up that hopefully there was some way to... She's the exception to the rule! Tom, I have the exception to the rule! We love each other! I know. I know. It was... Pussy. It was dumb. It was. It was dumb. I should have I listened to you, Tom. So what's next? You'll fall in love again? No. Never again. I'm never letting another woman uh, in my life as far as a relationship goes. That's and by the way, did your girlfriend try to blow up your phone? No, she didn't. Did you ever talk to her after that? Nope, I haven't talked to her. So look at that. Yep. She has she disposed of you like a used condom. Yep, that she did. Uh huh. Yeah, it was it was stupid, Tom. That's why I just I from now on, man. I it shouldn't have been from now on. It should have been right from the beginning. But from now on, it's just I'm gonna follow all your rules. It's about time. Yeah. I've had it. I mean, I just want to let all your listeners know to start paying attention to what you have to say. Don't just take it for granted. All right, Anthony. Ed, you're in the classroom with your professor on Likus 101. Hello. Hello, professor. Hi. Hey, uh, this is this is my story. I was going on and, uh, out with this girl on and off for about six years. She's a single mom. She's 28, and <sighs> I really liked her. But what ended up happening was she starts getting into MySpace and, you know, all this other stuff. Which then, I warned you about. Yeah. And she, we're out one day. I just finished taking her to lunch. I'm up there visiting her and bought her like a dress or, or skirt or something. Then we're on the way back to the room and she takes a call from some guy and sets up a date. So then later that day I get upset. I get rid of her. But now I'm having a hard time, like... I really liked her. What is your so, problem, Ace? What is your problem? The problem is uh, I, I kind of want to maybe call her and see how she's doing. Why whatever. do you care? Because uh, I cared about her. But she doesn't care about you. Yeah, I guess you're right. And what does this say about you? What does it say about me? I mean, I did care about the woman. You don't care about yourself. Is that is that right? That's right. Oh. That's, that's, yeah, I didn't think of it that way, Tom. No, I mean, because it was my pride that got, made me get rid of her. I mean, it was like, you know, what the heck is she doing? I that's right. That. You're dumping her was the right thing to do. 
Okay, I just wanted to hear from you, Professor, because, you know, I really respect you, and you and Adam are the best. I, I, I can't get through the day without listening to you guys. Now, well, why in the world did you think you were going to be able to have a relationship with someone who was on MySpace? How long have you been a student here? God, a few years. What did I tell you about that? You, Yeah, you've always said, don't date single moms, don't watch out when they're on MySpace, and then... You know, I always treated the woman pretty good, and then she freaking makes a date with Snoop. Well, but then, but then you got exactly what you deserved. Yes. Well, I told you not to hook up with single mothers. And I told you not to hook up with chicks who have pages on... Well, you can hook up with them, but you don't want to have a serious relationship with someone who has a MySpace or a Facebook page or whatever. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Okay, Professor. The, the purpose of MySpace and Facebook for chicks is to hook up. Yeah. Now, they will say it's social networking, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I call it humping. Yeah, you're right. One man's yeah. humping is another woman's uh, social networking. So don't, get, don't call her or anything. Just let it go. No, it's done. It's done. Have some self-respect. I do, and I've already got someone else I'm, you know, I'm putting it to, but but uh, it's just been hard dealing with it. Why you know? would you miss someone who treats you like crap? It's true. You're right. You're right. And that's why I haven't called her or nothing. So That's good. Okay. Okay. okay for By better. the way, let's make a note. She also hasn't called you. Yeah. That's how much she cares about you. Yeah, you're right. You're and right. how did she react when you dumped her? She cried. Yeah. And what reason was there for her to stay with you? Uh, she she just cried. I mean, I didn't even. I just really just you know told her that's why I left her because she took the call. I I didn't think it was right, and uh, she cried. She said something like she didn't know that I cared or something like that. Uh, and had you told her you were in love with her? No, I never told her that. No. Well, then you also got yourself in trouble with that. Why is that? Well, look. If, if you want to have a monogamous relationship with somebody, you have to tell them. Uh, yeah, you're right. But okay. it's just as well, because I don't know why you want to try to have a monogamous relationship uh, with a single mother who has a, a, a MySpace. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Professor. All right. Thank you. Wow. It's like it's 101. I am your professor. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Mike on Like It's 101. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing great. Hey, listen, I wanted to call and let you know that wives, girls, they'll go through your computers. They'll look at all your instant messengers. Oh, yes. About six months ago. You didn't know that? Well, I, I thought I logged off. And uh, about two years ago, I started sleeping on the couch. And six months ago, my wife said to me, she goes, you know, we're only married on paper. We should see other people. So I said, uh, okay. So did I take her up on it right away? No. Did I take her up on it? Yes, I did. And uh, one day I was out, and she was looking through my computer. She saw some very, very smutty stuff on my computer about what I did the night before, and uh, all all heck broke loose, and now I got served with some divorce papers. Right. Uh, do you have children? Yes, I do. Well, you're going to get screwed now. And I've been married over 10 years, so you know what the rule is there, right? Why did you stay with someone if you wanted to see other people? Uh, you know, because of the kids, I guess. Yeah. So now... Uh, it's pretty She's ugly. probably printed out all your material or saved it on a disc. What she did was she took photos of the computer screen. She's not real computer literate, but she took photos of it and, and it, uh, photos of the picture of my girlfriend and all of the verbiage that went along with it. And now she went and retained a lawyer for $15,000. Of your money? It's going to be, yeah. I mean, it's not going to be anymore. Let's put, uh, but what I understand about these lawyers is that if you give them $15,000, that's what your lawsuit is going to cost you. They're not in the habit of giving it back. Right. So the lesson to be learned here is don't get caught. I mean, the lesson to be learned here is don't get married. 
that's the better lesson. And you know what? Never again. Never again will I ever get married. It is the stupidest thing that I ever did. I thought I had to do it to have kids. And now I can clearly see that what you preach should be followed to a T. I'm just so sorry about all the guys who see this when it's too late. It's Like Is 101. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. Like Is 101. Welcome to the class. Spend less dough and get more ass. So baby, want a steak? Baby, gotta wait, because I ain't spending more than $40 on a date. Buy ya. Look at don't buy ya. B. If she answers the cell phone, disappear. Yeah. Wanna get laid? Gotta be an auto. Oh. Spike, use prophylactic, switch a basco, hit it. Quit it, no time to spoon. These are the rules of Professor Pooh. Gotta knock down, but you're looking to switch. Pull a Hail Mary and dump that bitch. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. It's like is one oh one on a Tom Like is show. It's the Tom Like is show. Like is one oh one. I am your professor. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Tony, I'm like is one oh one. Tony? Hey, what's Tom? Busy over there, Tony? I'm driving right now. All right. Can you talk and drive at the same time? Yeah, I got you on speakerphone. Sounds terrible. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, I've been listening to you for about a year and a half now since my dad introduced me to you. I take most of what you say to heart. It means a lot, you know? Like, I do take it, uh, take it in, try to use it. I've been dating a girl for about a year now. She's younger than me. I'm 20. She's 17. This is her first real relationship. It's probably me. Why do you, why, if you've been listening, I guess you're not a student then, right? Because uh, you've got a girlfriend. Yeah. And and the reason you've decided to ignore my advice on that is what now? Um, she's, she's a lot younger than me, and I don't know. She. I was just wondering, like... No, no, I, I asked you a question, son. I didn't really think about it, I guess. It was someone I hung out with for a long time before we actually started dating. Why we did you really... let her become a girlfriend? No, I got along together really well, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I, I told you that having a girlfriend doesn't work. Yeah. When, especially when you're 20 years old. Yeah. But you went ahead and did it anyway because you think you know more than I do. Direct. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. Uh huh. And by the way, what's the age of consent in California? Eight. You have no concerns about that either, do you? I know her whole family. They all love me. Yeah, they love you until, like, what if you decide to break up with her? Yeah, true. Yeah, good luck to you. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I was just, we've been together for about a year, getting serious. Like, not marriage serious, but I was wondering what your. Thoughts on having you know a, you know my thoughts. You knew before you called in. You were hoping I was going to give you the rubber stamp. Yeah, I know it doesn't work for anyone else, Tony. But it sounds like you found a winner there. Yeah, that's what you wanted me to say. Well, I'm not going to say it. All right. Why? Why would you be more likely to succeed at this than anyone else? It works for some people, you know? There are some people who jump off a 16-story building and live. <laughs> you yes. want to try it? Well, not really. Not many relationships that start when she's 17 uh, in this era succeed. Yeah. And you will end up very unhappy. Or worse yet, she'll get pregnant. Yeah, that's some of the I'm majorly not going to let happen. Oh, yeah? You have no control over that, son. Really? I thought, well, now, how I often are you using a condom, Tony? 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 Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, what do you think? How often are you using a condom? Three times. 
Every time? Yeah. Let me ask you this question. What kind of birth control does she use? Um, she was on the pill, but she's go she has a... a she's allergic. allergic to the pill. It makes her tired. It makes her cranky. It makes her gain weight. It makes... Right? Exactly. So she's getting the pro shot. Does she have the shot yet? Like next week, I believe. Uh, do you believe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, why was it so important for you to get my seal of approval here? No, because I feel like I found someone that we work together very well. Everybody you know? who's 20 thinks they found somebody who's the exception to the rule. Everybody. Yeah. And 80 to 90% of them are wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I'll take that in mind. What college are you attending, son? C. Which one? Uh, your speakerphone's cutting out. Maybe you could, uh, like, yell into the phone or something. Orange Coast College in Costa Mesa. Orange Coast College. It's a community college, right? Yeah. Right. And why aren't you going to a real university, son? I'm planning on it. I'm planning on going to Cal State Long Beach. But, but you're 20 years old already. What are you planning on doing there? I don't know. Business? When? I graduate OCC. This is painful. And when will that be? I don't know. Hopefully in about a year. So in other words, you uh, because you were attending Bonham Young University, you were not in college at 18 and 19, were you? No, not at all. Why not? Uh, because you had a girlfriend. Uh, right? That makes sense. What's that? Yeah, that makes so you've already allowed this relationship to F up your education. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So what makes you think it's going to work out? You've already had impaired judgment here. And there's the evidence right there. Yeah. I understand. I never really thought of it like that, you know? Well, you should think of it like that. Where are your parents? Uh, my mom lives in Colorado. and uh, my dad. Your dad is not uh, present to tell you how stupid that was? Nah. So that's why you did something really stupid. Which? And it is really stupid. All right. Yeah. All right, Tom, well, thank and, you. And your plan is to study what? I love business. I skateboard a lot, so I want to try to go into the skateboarding industry. The skateboarding industry? Yeah, I'm hoping to be a rep for a company. Right. So for two years, you were skateboarding and smoking weed and banging your 15- and 16-year-old girlfriend and not going to school. Right? Yeah. 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 And, and not even thinking about age of consent issues or what would happen if she got mad at you and she called the cops. No concern there. No, nah, not really. Yeah. You, son, you really better get your act together. All right. And having a girlfriend is not part of it, but you're not going to stop. You're going to learn the hard way. Okay. Right? Probably. I don't know. No. I was just looking for your thoughts on it. You knew my thoughts on it before you called in. You already admitted that. Yeah. But you called in anyway, hoping I'd say you were the exception to the rule. Pretty much. You're not. All right, Tom. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm in pain after that call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tracy, you're on Like Us 101 with the professor. Hello. Teacher. <laughs> Hi. I don't know if I should be worried or proud of myself, but I literally 100% agree with everything you say. Really? I think I should take the class because I think the way you tell guys to treat girls is right on. I mean, otherwise, they're suckers. Yeah. I I'm a little bit worried because I think I should have been a man, except for I'm hot, but, <laughs> yeah. but I believe in the hit it and quit it rule. I believe all Is of that. that you don't so? need to spend more than $40. None of that. Wow. And I have guys talking to me constantly, and I don't think it's just because of how I look. It's because it's like, let's have sex. Please don't call me the next day. I'm really? Like, don't call me the next day. What time can you be over here? Um, in about an hour. <laughs> Perfect. I'll even wear the little um, schoolgirl uniform for you. Uh, you know, I, and don't even tell me your your real name. I don't want to know. I already did, baby. <laughs> I don't know your last name, darling, so don't, don't tell me. I don't know. The guy who answered the phone, like, asked me how big my boobs were, how right. much I weighed, and not yeah. why. Yeah, well, apparently <laughs> the numbers check out. 
I guess they do. Some really? girls are still hot and skinny with big boobs. It's you know, and they're real. So well, everything's in its place, and you're awesome. You're amazing, and I love you. Well, you'll just have to bring those down here, won't you? I think I'll have to with the little thong panties. Yeah, I'm on it. All right, get on it. Very good. 1-800-5800-TOM. Like is 101. I am your professor. More of your telephone calls are coming up. Tom Like is 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Like is Show. Like is 101 with your professor at 1-800-5800-TOM. I'm here to get, help you guys get laid with a minimum of money expended, energy, time wasted. Uh, chicks who aren't going to give you what you want. Mike, on the top like his show. Hello? Is that a question or a statement? Okay, um, it is. All uh, right, hear my story, Tom. I'm 22 years old, right? I don't I know. Met- you tell me. I'm 22 years old. Um, I met this girl, right? But she had a kid, right? I met her when I, she was 20 years old. When she was 20 years old, I got with her when she had a kid. And then I got her pregnant. That's what I happens. This is what I tell you. How long have you been a student here? I haven't. Um, I just maybe like four months, five months. And she's the one that got me listening to you. Wow. <laughs> and hold up. You hear this story. So I got her pregnant. Then I had a little baby boy by her. Okay. Why did so you let then, that happen? Why weren't you using condoms? Because I guess I was whipped, man. You know, I'm not going to lie. I was whipped. I thought this is it. This oh, so is, she this, wanted this to have girl. another baby with you, and you knew it was coming. Yeah, I, I, I did, man. Oh, just, boy. And so, anyways, when I met her, she used, to, she used to rent a little room out, right, her and her daughter. So, you know, I bought a house. I bought a house. And... We all moved in together. Oh, my God. At 20, then this is like at 21. 21, I moved in with her at my house. It's not under my name. It's under my parents' name. Um, so we moved in and all together, but it was too much fighting. So Fighting? At, Sounds like a great relationship. Yeah. it was, And then it was fighting, too much fighting. She'll mm-hmm. call the cops on me. Uh-huh. And then after that, I decided to move out. I'm like, you know what? I love my son. I'm going to move out to my. Well, you moved out house. of your own house. Out of my own house, I moved back to my parents' house. That's great. So now she's got your house too. No, but hold on, hold on one second. So I moved back. It's the house is under my name. So it's, 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 I mean, she, she basically don't pay rent there, so it's not her house. And she, so I'm right now I'm living in my parents' house, and then now hey, if you think I'm it's not a, her house, try getting her out of it. Yeah, but right now I'm in a situation. Well, I moved back to my parents' house, but as I moved back to my parents' house, she was talking to another guy after that. Of course she was. She was, and she, and she was doing... Because you moved guy. out. Excuse me? Because you moved out. I know, so she started talking to another what guy. What is she supposed to do, sit there and wait for you to come back? Uh, no, no, so now I want her... Well, now it's at a point that I have to choose to stay with her and work on her relationship, or just, you know what, just move on with my life. You know what I mean? You should have moved on with your life in the first place. I know. And, you know, she always throws this at me, too, Tom. Like, she always says, you know, you have all this stuff that you have. It's because your parents, your dad, you know. She always throws this at me. She always throws that at me. You have this. You, you have chose this her. Car. You know what? Start taking responsibility for what you did here. Yeah, I know. You invited this bitch into your life. You did that. You're right. You did that. It's your fault. It is my fault. Stop blaming her. No, you're right. It's my fault. You knew what she was like, and you I chose did. her anyway. I did. And you chose to have a baby with it, too. I did. I did. Tom. So you're you right. chose to do these stupid things. Then you chose to buy a house. You're right. You're right. You're right. And then you chose to let her move in. You're right. Is that all her fault? No, it's, it's my fault, man. It's your it's, fault. No. That's yeah. right. And then all my friends would tell me, you know, don't don't be with her, just leave her, let her go. And then, oh, yeah, well, they know you better than I do. Uh, I've only known you for three minutes and forty five seconds. You're right. So the best thing for me is just to move on with my life, all Tom. Yes, and get her out of your house. You're right, Tom. You're right. <laughs> your house banging other guys. What a maroon you are. I know. 
All right, Tom, that's it. That's all I got to tell you, man. <laughs> and no more kids, please. Christ. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Likas 101. Here is Efren on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, hello, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, but I've been listening to you for three months. Uh, some co-workers got me into listening to you. Yeah. Or what do you have to say? I'm just loving it, but I'm, I'm kind of kind of need your advice here. Okay. I've, I've been knowing this girl since high school. It's Three years now, we've been dating. You are 19. Excuse me? You are 19, and you've been dating her for three years. No, no, no. I've known her for three years. We started dating five months ago. And you consider her your girlfriend? Yeah, she's my girlfriend. Strike one. Okay. And then she's going to college here in Santa Ana, Santa Ana College, community college. And I live in Moreno Valley. And I work at Anaheim, so I don't know. I'm right outside. Of so it's a long. Now. It's essentially a long distance relationship. Yes, it is. Strike two. And I don't know. So sometimes I feel like like. There's no such thing. The son. I, I, how long have you been a student here? Well, I've been listening to you for three months now. All right. Have you ever heard me talk about uh, college relationships, long distance relationships? Yes, I have. Yeah? And uh, what makes you think you're going to do any better than the other morons who try it? Mm, not, not really. All right, so what is your question? Well, I should just dump her and just continue with my life. You should have, the minute she went to college, you should have dumped her. I right, right. What What female, how old is she, 18? She's yeah, what eighteen-year-old girl is going to go to college and not be surrounded by guys saying, "Why don't we go see a movie? Why don't we go have a cup of coffee? Why don't we go study together? We got a study group." How many? How many eighteen-year-olds are going to say no to any of that? None. That's right. And all that for a fact is I used to do it. <laughs> Well, then why are you so stupid? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. By the way, are you, st are you still going to college? No, I, I'm working. She is. I'm what like, happened I'm What happened to sure. college for you? I thought you said you used to do it. Oh, no, I never I never said it. I just, I so she's to going to college and you're not. Let me give you another uh, scenario. When she finishes college and you haven't gone, she's going to trade up. Well, she's she's getting fed up with it. She says she don't want to go no more. She doesn't care about it. She plays water polo. She doesn't. She's she's tired of it. She don't want to go now. It's her first semester, and her first semester, she's she's failing almost all of her classes. She just she says she doesn't care about it no more. So I tell her, well, what do you want to do? Then again, I came and meet her parents. I met her parents. Her parents like me, and blah blah blah, and all this good crap. Don't you think the two of you should be going to college? Well, yes, but, uh... Son, I, I, I know because you don't like going to college, probably don't like reading. Have, have you paid attention to the news lately? No, I haven't. No. Have you heard about the economy at all? Yes, I heard the economy is going down the drain. Right. And what happens when the economy goes down the drain? What happens to the unemployment rate? Uh, it goes... I have no idea. It goes up. So, let's review. The unemployment rate goes up when the economy goes down, Right. Right. Now, if an employer has to decide between hiring somebody with a college degree and a loser who is dating his girlfriend and uh, that doesn't bother to go to college, who do you think is going to keep his job and who's going to get laid off? I am. Right. I get my head out of my ass and keep on going to school, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh... Yeah, I, I just, why is that so complicated? I don't know, Tom. I just I don't the know. economy stinks. Yes, there's an economy. You, you think they're laying off all the college graduates? Nope. They're laying off people like you. Yes, they are. Right? Yes, but right now as a construction, it's it's, it's all right. It's not they keep us working so. They keep us busy. Oh, and by the way, you know what happens to the construction industry during a recession? 
Do you know what a recession is? No. Nope. Look it up. Uh, yeah. Uh, when the economy goes on the crapper, people put off building buildings. Right. And then the employers say, well, since we've got no buildings to build, uh, all you hourly guys will be coming in here and uh, building buildings. Uh, don't bother coming in. Wow. Yeah, you're just hearing this for the first time? Yes, I have. Where's your father? My father, he does construction as well. <laughs> Maybe he should read a paper and then tell you what he read. Yeah. Well, he's not really of a newspaper guy. Yeah, well, sounds like you're all proud of being ignorant, which is fantastic. But, son, you know, you're not too old to change the course of history in your family. Nope. I got an eighteen year old brother that he got he got his first kid when he was seventeen. He has two with the same girl. She had him on child support and How old is your father? You're nineteen. How old is he? Fifty. Fifty. And he has how many kids? He has five total. Yeah. Think that's a good idea? Nope. But you know that's where you're heading. Uh yes, if I keep on continuing with this that's when I wind up having any. Because eventually you're going to realize you're never going to be anything anyway. Might as well just throw your whole life away. That's what your dad did. That's where I'm heading. Right. Is your dad still in construction at 50? Yes, he is. How's his back? Uh, kind of worn out on him. Yeah. Back problems? Yeah, it's kind of. Other physical issues? Excuse me? Are there other physical issues he has? Uh, yes, diabetes. Uh huh. You realize, you realize, son, this is all your future. Right. And last time I looked, the retirement age was not 50. Right. By the time you're 65, it's going to be more like 70. Yes, I am. So, at 50, if you can't work anymore, how do you make it to 70? I have no idea. Yeah, well, you maybe you want to think about these things. You ever consider sitting down and giving that stuff some thought? No. Why not? Because your dad never did. Oh, he did. Yeah, well, so are you now going to continue the family tradition, or are you going to try to change history? I'm going to change history. Change history and just get a better future then. How about you drive on down to the old community college and pick up a brochure? It doesn't take that long. It takes about half an hour to go out there and get one. Time to go. Oh, boy. Tom. 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 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Hollywood, Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Denise on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? No. Hi. Uh, this is actually my first time listening to your show, so um, and I've got to say I kind of agree with a lot of things that you're actually saying to all these people. Well, good. Uh, yeah, like, I'm calling because, like, I saw, I heard... That one 18 year old girl that she doesn't, she's engaged or whatever, and she's with her loser boyfriend or whatever, and she's gonna get married. Girl, we, I got we, married we have many, age. we have many of them calling in. Oh, yeah, I bet. Well, I was one of those little naive girls. I got married at 18. I'm 21 right now, three years married, and trust me, it's, it's, it's not easy. I have a daughter too, and it's just, it's hard. Like, I mean, they have you eating out of their hand when you're 18. And I don't know. I just don't know what to tell you guys. It's just like, don't get married right now. Not oh, the F word. Zero tolerance policy. You're out. F word not allowed on the air, not even as an adverb. Can't do it. Go to our website. Uh, no, actually go to myspace.com slash Tom Likas. I wrote a blog and I wrote... With my own hand, I wrote uh, every bad word you can't say that I could think of. I keep adding to the list as people keep trying other words. 
But these are the words that will get you hung up on. And there's, we don't just bleep it and let you keep going. We now hang up and that's it. You're done. So go to myspace.com slash T-O-M L-E-Y K-I-S. And before you call in, learn the words you can never say on the radio. You'll be surprised what's on that list. Well, the one she just used, no doubt you can't say that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Angel, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. Um, I, I have a problem. Well, I've been single for about a year, and ever since that, um, every girl I go out with and have sex with, Every time I do that, I start worrying about, oh, what if I got pregnant? What you if, you oh. should worry about that. Yeah. But it's not normal because I can't sleep at night. So, and um, the only way I get relieved is when I find out they're on their period or um, I guess I don't see their stomach bloating up. Do you ever ch do you ever check that uh, to make sure that they are on birth control? No, I don't check on them. I always use condoms. Do you ask? I know you should always use condoms, but do you ask these girls? No, I don't. Before you have sex with them, you should say the following phrase. Just say, are, are, what are you using? And what if they say they're not on birth control? Then don't have sex with them, because women who don't use birth control want to have your baby. Okay. And, um... So don't ask them, are you using anything? That gives them a chance to lie. Say, what are you using? What are you, and what are the best ones? You could, um, um, what if I ask them and they say they're on the pill? Is that really um, oh, they very, might be, um? They might be lying. They might be lying. They might be lying, yes, and many women do, but... Uh, still, uh, you could rest a little easier uh, if somebody tells you they're using something than if they tell you they're not using it, it, it. Put it this way. You can eliminate the women who aren't using anything at all. I would not have sex with them. Not at all. Not at all. And I want to I wanna tell you, um, I, I wasn't having this problem. By the I, way, I, I got some more information for you. Okay. Uh, do not have sex with women who tell you they are allergic to condoms. Oh. Or they're allergic to birth control. Or the doctor told them they can't get pregnant. These are all women who want to have your baby. Oh, okay. Has a woman ever said any of those things to you? Mm, um, no, the only one I was with this girl, well, that was back then, and then she wanted to have a baby, but we always used to condom, so that never happened. But let me tell you, after we broke up, she was my girlfriend for five years, and after we broke up, when I was with her, I, I didn't have any problems with that. I could be, I was... Oh, I could say I was cheating on her with all these girls, and I wouldn't worry about it. Now that I'm single, why am I worrying about it? Well, the point is, at 21, you should always be unmarried, unattached. Why do you ever right. need to have a girlfriend? Nah. I'm, I'm, ask, I'm asking you. I want to know. There's no, there's no need for a girlfriend. Now, I, I found that out now. It just doesn't make any sense. But I, I feel more secure having sex when, I guess, you're in a commitment, I guess, because when I had a girlfriend, I, I wasn't worrying about that. You know what happens uh, when you have a girlfriend, then she wants to have a baby with you even more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, is, there any, do I have, is there a need to see a psychologist about this? Because I can't sleep and I, I'm telling you after I well, do that. I, look, I always recommend seeing um, a, a trained therapist and spending some time. Uh, I've been in therapy for eight years. It's fantastic. Best thing I ever did for myself. Oh. Is it expensive? Is it? Mm. There are ways to get it more cheaply. Uh, matter of fact, if you call the county health department in L.A. County, L.A. County? Uh, they, yeah, L.A. County Health Department. It's in the blue pages of the phone book. Uh, they will uh, find ways to work with you. Uh, I believe they have uh, uh, services available on a sliding scale, depending on how much you can afford to pay. Okay. Try to look into that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the, um, I always ask you about the condom. Is there, is, I know it's not 100% um, sure that you're not going to get the girl pregnant, right? It's... It's the most effective. Um, I could 
I I could use. I could. Is there anything else I could do so I could be sure I don't get a girl pregnant or? Well, I told you that's the biggest thing you can do is not to have sex with girls who aren't using anything. Okay. I mean, they tell you that. Walk away. Okay. If they tell you they can't get pregnant because the doctor told them that, walk away. Walk away. If they tell you that they're allergic to condoms, walk away. If they tell you, take that sticky thing off, I want to feel you, walk away. Walk away. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. So I guess I'm looking to see a psychologist, I guess, because it gets me, I can't sleep and I'm telling you after it, have sex with a girl and then. Uh, well, I've given you the ways. Uh, look, this will reduce the odds that it's going to happen. Okay. All right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Andrew on Like Us 101. I've got a little over a minute here. Hello. Dad. Son, we have a little over a minute. All right, I'll make it. I'll make this quick. I want to tell a quick story about how you changed my life. I okay. dated a girl for about a year and a half. Uh, she was a hairstylist. Yeah, a real winner. Uh, basically, you know, one day I just keep hearing this over and over again. All these callers telling them, they're like, you know, stop being a puss. You know, pull the plug. And that stuff starts to wear on you for a while. All your friends are telling you, you're being a puss. Pull the plug. So I did it, and it was the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. We've been not together now for quite some time. I just graduated college. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm working at a company now. I'm really happy. I'm single, and I'm doing something with my life. And I can thank you for that, Tom. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, everything you say is it's so right. You know, everyone out there, just please, please stay in school, stay in college. It is so worth it. That's what you got to do, Andrew. Especially with the economy going down. Oh man, everything you're saying, bro. Everything. Fantastic. I'm proud of you, Andrew. Thanks a lot for that call. It's like it's 101. We have another hour to go here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800. It's the Tom Likas Show.